Oke, okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I'm introduce myself first. My name is Sam Ahmad Azam. In this occasion, I would like to try to make uh, to use to use a reading mastery method for reading and writing skill. Reading mastery is a complete basal reading program that uses the direct instruction method to help students master essential coding and comprehension skills. The program places a particular emphasis on teaching thinking skills and helping students acquire background knowledge. And here are some benefits that you can get if you master reading mastery. First is be able to understand analyze and respond to documents and written communication in the workplace. The second one is improve reading skills so that it looks clear and effective. The third uh, can improve reading focus for a long time. The fourth, good reading comprehension can make you look professional and the last reading activities feel more enjoyable. Okay, guys, before uh, we begin our material today, I would like to check your attendance. Uh, Ariel Gilang Muharam. Present. Okay, Suryana Ibnu. Present, sir. Vicky Aulia. Present. Uh, Ulman Wafi. I'm here, I'm here, sir. And Arman Dasaputra? I'm here, sir. Okay, thank you. Before we begin our material, uh, we would like to pray together with say Basmalah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, guys. Warming up. In this part, you should listen up carefully to me and do the instruction. Please write on the chat box. I would like to say uh, some words. Uh, it is like a spelling bee competition, but it's just warming up for us to check your reading skill, okay? Understand? Please, after- uh, Understood, sir. Okay. After I say the word or the sentence, just write it on the chat box, okay, guys? Okay, please write on the chat box. Wait a minute. Okay. The first word is Jaguar. Please write it. So uh, we should create a sentence from the word jaguar. Just, just write it. What I oh. say, write it. All right then. Okay, good. The easy level, the easiest level. Second word, military. Pardon? Military. Okay, good. The third goldfish. Good. Pineapple. Good. Navy. Good. You are excellent, guys. Coconut. Okay, the next level, okay? Etymology. Okay. Good, Wafi. <laughs> the correct one is Wafi. And Vicky, the last one. You are cheating, Vicky. Second word. Terminology. Yeah. 
Not the etymology, Arman, okay? You are wrong. That is our lecturer. The third word is frothy. Frothy. Just try this. Frothy. <laughs> the correct one is wafi. Frothy. Okay. Vicky, just like usual. Cheating. Cheating. The fourth is Bugatti. Good. Next, trademark. Okay, Arman, trademark. Uh, the the alphabet A is not double. Okay, trademark. Good. Encyclopedia. Good, Kulmat. And the last level, I think is the hardest one. Svendeni. Just write it. Svendeni. I took this word from the uh, the international competition. Svendeni. 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 Who else? Svendeni. Very new. <laughs> oh, I, I, I mistyped, sir. I mistyped. <laughs> what does it mean, Ariel? Oh, nothing, sir. It's a uh, fail, say, sir. Well, uh, fail. <laughs> Got something. <laughs> the correct one, Spendany, is Ulman Wafiwe. Please give applause for him. <laughs> Good, Ulman. And the last word Alotrayofagi. Alotrayofagi. Just write it. What do you think about? Alot triophagy. Alot triophagy. Just write it, guys. Alot tripago. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Ariel. Where are the others? Alot Rayo Faji. Just write it. What did you hear from my mouth? Alot Rayo Faji. Alot Rayo Faji. <laughs> Where is Wafi? Wafi. Last one. Wafi. Alot Trayofaji. Okay, good. You are excellent. Man, Wafi. You are so awesome. Thank you for automatic for a keyboard. <laughs> oh, you are cheating. He's cheating, sir. <laughs> okay, no problems. Okay, thank you guys for the warming up. And our next material is read this uh, short story. Okay. Please, uh, Ulman Wafi, read it loudly. Okay. All right, All right sir. sir. Long ago in Indonesia, Sikabayan loved to play with words. One, his father in law said, <laughs> Wait, sir. Sing me a song. So, si Kabayan drone, Sari, Sar, Sari. That's no good. Wanted his father in law, I want something gentle on the ears. Try chicken feeders, said si Kabayan. 
Forget singing then, you fool, said his father in law. Tell me a story. Something long, asked si Kabayan. Yes, a road, you useless, you useless flow. Robert, his father in law, something short then, asked si Kabayan. Yes, yes, yes. And and grinned si Kabayan. And that was the last time that his father-in-law asked him to do anything at all, which made his, which made si Kabayan very, very glad. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Roman. And let's let discuss. It. Okay. The first question, who is the main characters? Who wants to answer? Who is the main characters? Kabayan. Kabayan. Good. And second question, why his father-in-law asked Kabayan for singing? In your opinion, just your opinion. Why, Why did his father, father go ask Kabayan for singing? Is he gabut or something because like Because he bored? bored? Okay, maybe. Good. Good answer. The last. Did he does uh, what his father-in-law taught him to do? His father-in-law told him to sing. Uh and he, tell he him uh tell him a story first oh, okay good and the second story it is about uh, a special baby is born please ariel uh, read it loudly why do i get the long one sir <laughs> <laughs> just read it all right <clears throat> all of it sir oh, all of it Okay then. <clears throat> a special baby is born. Many years ago, more than 1,400 years past, a man named Abdullah and his wife Amina lived in a city named Mecca in the desert of Arabia. Mecca was a very large city, but it was not very fertile, so caravans came to trade food and supplies for the, for the people of Mecca. A tribe called the Quraysh were the ones that brought the caravans to the city, so the tribe was both rich and powerful. Abdullah and Amina were part of the Banu Hashim clan of the Quraysh tribe. Amina found out that she was going to have a baby. An angel came to her before the baby was born and told her the, the special name of her baby boy. She was going to name him Muhammad. Sadly, Abdullah died before Muhammad was born, but Muhammad lived with his mother and grandfather and Abdul Muttalib. On the day that he was born, he, uh, his grandfather took him to the Kaaba to pray to Allah and thank him for his grandson. After some time, the baby Muhammad went to live in the desert with a family uh, there so that he could grow up strong. A woman named Halima fed him and took care of him. The family received many blessings while the baby lived with them. Uh, they did not want the baby to go home because uh, they loved him and enjoyed all the blessings of Allah. Halima begged his mother to let him stay and reminded his mother that many people in the city were ill. Amina was worried that her son may also get sick if he came back, so Muhammad stayed with, uh, with the desert family for a few more years. When Muhammad was five years old, the angel Gabriel came to him and helped him. This scared the Halima, so they brought him back to live with his loving mother and grandfather in Mecca. Okay, thank you, Ariel. <laughs> you are so good on your pronunciation. Uh, uh, yeah. Um. Okay, try to answer it, guys. <laughs> what is the story about? The story is about a special baby called Muhammad, who will then become the prophet of Muslim. MashaAllah, For the guys. Muslims. You are still halal, Ariel. MashaAllah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Uh, wallahi, wallahi, I'm the best. I'm the best. <laughs> Mashallah. Who is this special baby? Muhammad. 
He is Muhammad, of course, our prophet, Rasulullah okay, SAW. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for your nice comments. Your not your nice attention too. Uh, thank you for today. Keep and stay halal, okay, guys. Yes, sir. Inshallah, sir. Is there any question? Uh, not for me, sir. Okay. No, sir. Oke, okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, sir. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Yes.